Hello, I'm here with Dr. Derek Nordstrom. Uh, he's a dentist that has been a lecturer, uh, repeated lecturer at our seminars. So Derek, I wanted to find out from you what your impression of program is and how it works in, in the supporting what your vision, what your, your appliance, your ALF um, does for the patient. Well, actually, the, the, the program or our mission is uh, with the ALF is this healing principle of, of uh, bringing the patient back together into a balanced state. And we found that it's really mediated a lot by what happens in the head and neck, but we see that it's also related a lot to the, uh, the pelvis. There's this foundation for each patient. And um, SOTO is, addresses that. And so the two sort of um, dovetail into each other really well. These are people in uh, Soto USA that are dedicated to this concept, and so picking up and running with the the other dental supportive model is is it's like filling in a blank that was that was missing. And we're working with the the Soto trained uh, doctors who have the experience with the manipulation and and with the balance of the whole body. There's so much work that you do that is. Um, people may not understand because it's so much more subtle, so much more based on um, helping the body to align itself and stay aligned. And that's the principle behind the ALF. So it's very supportive. Uh, Dr. Norson, tell me about your um, ALF appliance that is um, your idea and development and how we fit in or complement your program and your treatment with that device. Well, the, the ALF, the principles of ALF were a discovery. It was in the, in the process of trying to find a technique that would address the needs of patients orthodontically. Um, as we know, orthodontics means straight teeth, but, but it doesn't necessarily mean a straight body. And as possible, make the teeth sort of straight and not have the body be straight and the patients are not stable. And I saw that as a, as a practitioner looking at, at patients after years and years of, uh, after their orthodontic therapy and they were not stable. And so we worked to develop a model appliance that would treat the patient to get the straight teeth and get a balance um, in their whole body. But as a dentist, I'm kind of limited to the, the head and neck. And we found that these things are definitely interconnected. The, there's no taking these apart. And, and as soon as the patient is treated separately, if there's a one strain, they'll fall apart in some other place. So taking this then to the people that I needed, which were the doctors that treat the whole body. So what you're saying is, is that the SOT model and the training that we give our cranial SOT trained chiropractors really completes your model and really makes us a really holistic, whole body approach to healing the whole person. I guess as close as we can get. Um, <laughs> that's the thing. But okay, that model is the model we're looking at. And we just, as long as we can keep working together, this is gonna refine and we're gonna get better and better and better. This is a, this is a process. We're working on the ALF, we're working on the, the interaction with the, the sacro-occipital technique doctors, and it's the same, we're working together there to refine this, we're working together with the osteopaths to refine it, and each time we work together, get a team going together, meet and, um, uh, correlate with our, resp with our uh, uh, responses from the patients, this just gets more and more refined. So I see as long as we keep working together with the training that the um, chiropractors come into with the SOTO, they're ready to roll with this and then it's just a matter of applying it and learning and growing. Uh, there's no recipe right now that works, whether it's for me or anyone, th uh, that works on every patient without a learning process and so it's it's just a it's our springboard is the training that's provided and then we move together from there what I found is that the the doctors that have gone through your courses are safe they respect the patient they respect the natural mechanisms within the patient they're not trying to impress their will on the patients which has been a which is sometimes a problem they, they respect the inherent ability of the patient to heal themselves and they guide that process. And that, that's, that's the core foundation that we can build on. And that's what makes your, this course so important and unique. I want to thank you for your continued support and uh, that we'll continue to work in the future.